mountain flying. That's where we all want to get to and it's always good to be safe in the mountains and to feel pretty confident about what you can do. This session offers some extracts from the full hour-long session where you can learn more about mountain flying on my website. You want to make sure if you're going to fly in the mountains that you've checked the weather forecast first. So I suggest simple is to start with windy. You find your site, you put in search location, you get the site that you're going to fly at. That's the spot on the edge of the mountains. We can go to my friend paragliding map. You can type in the site that you're looking for or you can look in an area and you'll find one that is going to be flyable at the time that you're wanting to fly. If you're looking in the Alps, I can highly recommend bestflyingsites.com, seeing as I've published the book. <laughs> so that's got very detailed information about the top sites in the Alps and importantly, the access rules and restrictions and things like that. If you can get one of these sort of things, they are just brilliant. You can easily understand if the wind's coming through here, where it's going to be funneled and collected and where it's going to punch through and which points you can see connect the one side of the mountain to the other. And I would have a look around the area on a sort of zoomed out view to understand how is the air going to move around this site and what's going to affect it. Now the sun's starting to heat things up. So in the absence of any other wind, this slope that's nicely angled facing into the sun is going to warm up. So this slope is going to have an upslope breeze. If you push all the air up here and you push all the air up here, you're going to find you're probably going to have the air coming down in the middle. So you've got that circulation happening up, over, down and up. And that continues through the day until you get to the afternoon, late afternoon, things start cooling off and then you start getting that catabatic effect. That explains a bit about why you have to wait in the morning at a mountain site for it to get going. You need that whole system to start working. If you go off too early and you're just on the one little slope where it's going up, you climb up and you fly off and then you land too early. Launching in a mountain site, there shouldn't be a lot of wind because then you're in danger. If there's a lot of wind down at ground level, when you get to peak height, it's gonna be just too much. Usually in the morning, the first part of the flight, the lift is happening on the slope close to the terrain. So you wanna get quite good at soaring in close proximity to the slope at a soaring site first. Get this kind of feeling for how far you need to be and how much ground you cover when you're flying crosswind and downwind back towards the slope and doing these figure of eight turns because that will help you hugely when you get to the mountains and you've got this first transition in the morning and then you're wanting to transition to find lift. So I've gone across here to a place where I think there's going to be a trigger being that there's a big feeder coming in here a lot of air coming in the valley and then it's a kick and it's nice and protected. So that thermal there, I can work nice and high and I'm not leaving it. I just keep going around and around and around. Same thermal, you can see the launch over there. So now I'm topping out and that's kind of the second move of the day. The first was scratching to get to a position where I could transition. The second is using that lift uh, break the flight down into sections and when you get a crux move where you think look if you have more height here it'll really make a huge difference and improve your safety so I'm just continuing to climb here without going over the back and I'm building up height so that I've got options to learn more visit my website and watch the full seminar with over an hour of instruction on mountain flying it's just one small part of the whole academy. I'm condensing a lifetime of paragliding experience into one amazing course for you. Get on the leading edge with access to all the latest lessons. There's already over 20 hours of instructional videos focused on helping you progress as a pilot. 
so you can start the learning right now. This will take your piloting to another level. Come and join my formation on flywithgreg.com.